What's up guys, Claudi here and yeah this week has been a pretty challenging one with the only thing really keeping me alive being the hype for the upcoming chapter 10 final which is out in a couple days but Vespa has today released the uh, results of um, the recent uh, satisfactory survey and it's some pretty interesting stuff so I wanted to go through it and just reflect a bit on these results so let's get right to it see what they have learned from all our feedback. So the first part in this section is um, which part of the Little Radar content do you think needs improvement? And most of the answers given by players were make improvements to the rates of the incubator. That's 40%. Mm, yeah, I can understand where people are coming from because if you look at the incubator, you can only get like the two lowest grades and um, after a while, just got an essence, which is pretty uh, useless, and yeah, so that's that's kind of scuff because you you don't even have a minimal chance to to get a uh, even a, a, an ancient one, yet alone a legendary pet. So it kind of takes out the excitement whenever you open a box and or whatever that can have a good re result at least you have a little bit of hope that you might be getting something with the incubator this is practically zero so i can understand why people pick this my personal other two choices that i think also needs work is adding any kind of content that involves the pets because right now this is just like a daily chore that you go in you feed your pet you come out, you are done. You don't really do anything with the pets and this way they are just really boring statistics. They do look cute and all, but you really can't do much with them. So for me, it's it's mostly just remembering that I need to go there, feed the pet and click the incubator and that's it. So it's, it's, it's not really an interesting content. And the other thing, which I think is perhaps even more important for the health of the game is the line friends issue. Now, something I often say about King's Red is that while paying in the game makes you advance faster, there is nothing in the game that uh, that is really pay to win, which means that it's not obtainable without uh, real life money. And that's just good for the half of the game. And the only thing that is there, and is glaringly there, are the line friends, which have some some of them are, are pretty OP, like getting gold from Technomagic Race is whatever, like it would be nice, but you can live without it. Um, but there is one in particular that gives attack on its own layer, and that's just so OP, and it was only available through real money. I think that was a huge mistake made by Mr. and I would like, made by uh, Vespa, Jesus, I can talk, and I would like them to, to rectify that. Now, of course, that comes with its own issue that what will the people feel who paid for those pets, and if you, if you get them for free, maybe Vespa can refund them or whatever, although I doubt they would do that. But to me, that's, that's like the biggest issue with these pets, that there was a time when there was a and a real, real pay to win option in the game, and there is no uh, no fix to that. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's the most glaring issue with, with the line pets. Uh, but let's see it. Power, Tower of Ordeal content. So, this is the, the one that you get uh, the transcendence materials from. A lot of people just said improve rewards, which seem to be the prevailing um, option in most of the surveys. I would say this just needs to be deleted, like it really doesn't serve any purpose in the game right now, it's just a time sting that, time sink, I just said sting, Jesus, so it's time sink that nobody really cares about anymore. This was something in the first year or two of the game where transcending heroes was uh, part of the progression, right now it really isn't. You can auto this to, to the maximum stage like a couple days into the game you can you can already play this on auto and um, the rewards are, are really passive and not interesting just pick them into stock it and then give us back our time so we can forget about this one unless we have something new new kind of mechanics just for you Yon, um that that uh, needs hero imp improvement materials otherwise i would just say just save us the time remove this from the game and just Bake the rewards into stockade. Dragon Raid and Harmo Dragon Raid again improve rewards, which um, 
Now the issue with, with Dragon Raids really is that it's just outdated content. Nobody really cares about Dragon Raids anymore. You might use some of the pieces while you uh, progress into into like Manticore gear or TM gear. Um, improve rewards, like you would need to improve Dragon gear for that. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose anymore unless they redid the whole armor set thing uh, to make them viable options i don't think there is really a chance the thing is times pass by for dragon raids and um, maybe in the future if we get new stuff then this would be interesting otherwise there is really not no point in, in improving the rewards unless people meant that they want dragon gear to be viable which should be interesting but the reality of things is right now that TM gear is the end game gear and there is you don't really spend so much time getting there that you really would need dragon gear in the first place. And then we are with techno magic gear and improved gear farming is the option that most people went with and then there is some like decrease the level of difficulty, decrease stamina knowing add gold or it's interesting that a lot of people don't think that gold needs to be added this i think i that's what i i picked myself and the reason is as some of you might know i have raised two alts in the recent few months each of them has farmed at least two full sets of tm gear in a relatively short time in on their own account so is it time and stamina thing yes is it like super gated and undoable I don't think so of course my alts were built with a mindset that I already knew what I wanted to build where I wanted to go what I needed so I got there fairly fast on my own I can understand that if people who don't build in in with such a mindset might be struggling with it both with the difficulty and with getting the gear sets done hmm I can both see the merits of this and, and go against it. The The game does need to provide you with progression and, and need to give you challenges and need to need to make you spend time with it, otherwise it will just get bored too fast. But I can also understand that in itself um, this can be very frustrating, especially with the RNG factor. And if anything, that's what I would change, like both the stat rerolling and the randomness of the lines that you are getting. Maybe there could be like groups as uh, of stats. Like if I want to gear my tanks, I don't want to keep getting ignore defense line on, on knights because, uh, or or deals more damage lines or mana recovery. Because the truth is, in most cases, that's not what you are looking for. So it and then can get really frustrating when sometimes you you craft ten pieces and get a full set for for one character, and then you burn through two hundred thousand crystals and you do not get a single line that you wanted because the pool is just so big that you don't even get any pieces that you would even consider equipping on that character so that you were trying to craft for so yeah i would say improve the rng part make it less less frustrating that you are so much at the mercy of of the randomness of course this is also part of the game that uh, giving you time things not letting you just pick out everything you want but maybe that could be done in a more sensible way and i hope that this will be the case with the enchantments if they group them together like they did with the with the old uh dragon raid har mode scrolls where you really just got so random stuff that it was really frustrating. All the p buck lines whenever you try to uh, gear or DPS were just frustrating. All right, let's see. Um, which part of the world was content do you think it needs improvement? Um, again, a lot of people pressed improve rewards, which is um, kind of curious. I think the rewards of uh, world bosses are are kind of all right. You get rubies, you get the crystals. Um, I don't think that's that's really a big issue. One issue with them, I would say, is as people point out, we need new world bosses. In the four years of the game, we have three world bosses in total, and Best Buy has promised to give us a new one this year, so that would be kind of nice to have. Um, so that's one thing, and interestingly, it's not really mentioned here, but two things, the balancing, you can see Xenad is here and the, the whole physical buff on it just needs to go away in my opinion. We have 
one magical boss where a lot of physical heroes are doing a lot better than magical ones. We have one physical boss where you can't really use magical heroes. And then we have the, the neutral one, Xenadus, where physical is absolutely dominating because of a stupid buff that was given to the boss itself that it takes more physical damage. I think that should be balanced out. And my other gripe with, with world bosses is the randomness that just affects your score so much. And when you are a, a tryhard who really wants to get a good score, that can mean hours and hours of trying to get a decent run in just because RNG is screwing you because you are so much at the mercy of the of the patterns of the bosses which you have no influence on and I think people don't really like or enjoy that so personally I would say that's that's a bigger issue I do enjoy the content but I don't want to spend five hours on it a day just because I, I need to get to a point where it doesn't take the boss 20 seconds to cast her three skills instead of 15 which will yeah just uh, change my, my my score so much. So uh, that's my opinion on it. Um, which part of the Stockade Vault content do you think it needs improvement? Increase the number of entries. They kind of fixed this because now you can do all of the dungeons uh, without limitation, like, like you don't have to choose between them. And by adding Nikki, you get an extra key for all of them. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. So I think Stockade is a good spot, uh, good spot right now. Which part of the Tower of Challenge content do you think it needs improvement? 50% said improve rewards. Hmm. I think new stages would be nice. Some of these are actually pretty fun. Um, I would say the, the difficulty curve is a bit weird because up to stage 75 or so there is like maybe one or two stages that you can't really auto through but but once you have like a decentish team you can really just get there relatively easily and then you start to run into two bosses that have very specific requirements and my favorite the lamp from hell is like if you do not have a specific hero then you just it's just very hard to get through it so um but yeah i think the rewards themselves are pretty fine you get rubies you get all sorts of goodies um, I would like to see new stages and maybe a bit of a look at the difficulty curve because I think some of them are still a bit out of line while most of the stuff is a bit too easy. Uh, so new stages maybe with new rewards that would be nice and kind of ties into it but the artifacts, the whole situation in the artifacts department and maybe this also ties into the world bosses is a bit of a mess in, in, in King's Raid and I would say that's the most gated content and, and the biggest difference between an old slash whaled account and, and the not so old or, or whaled one is, is the artifacts. Everything else you can kind of get without without too much uh, time spent. So yeah, let's see which part of the Royal Underground Labyrinth content do you think needs improvement, improve rewards? Well, that, that part is getting a bit boring. Guys, uh, do we really need better rewards everything? Um, yeah, so I don't know. This used to be one thing that, that was kind of challenging, um, but with soul weapons it not really is, except for some some really uh, annoying combination of skills where you're just tearing your head out because the boss keeps one-shotting you and stuff like that. And in comparison to that random unique treasure tickets are, and sometimes you feel like it's not really worth. But, um, once you have a decent team that can go through them, it's not really that interesting. So I would say make them a bit more interesting maybe and then bring the rewards in line with that maybe. Um, yeah, difficult. We have a lot of content in King's Raid and, and maybe in some cases it would be better to just like uh, cut them out and then give the players some slack too because too much content, too much and forced content just kind of leads to to um, people burning out, in my opinion. Now, challenge rage con challenge. Ra I always say rage. What the heck? Uh, content. Do you think it needs improvement? Again, people say improve rewards. I actually strongly disagree with this. The rewards for challenge raids are always pretty generous. Not always. Okay, maybe maybe like ninety percent. Sometimes it feels like meh, especially the random artifact pieces. But um, 
Carnivores tend to be pretty good, and these are not really stuff that you need to run every day, f seven days a week, four weeks a month. It's not. So I think that the rewards and the difficulty are and the the uh, effort that you need to put into it are pretty much in line. So I don't think this needs improvement at all. What I would like to see is is more more raid bosses actually because um, we haven't really received a new one in in forever. I'm not even sure when Kalex was added. And um, we had like the ones for DLK and Fallen Fray, but. That was only like for a limited time and it never came back. So again, add just more of them, make make it interesting again by giving us more bosses. Some of them are, are really not entertaining anymore. This was a fun thing that I, I used to like to do with friends and guildies and stuff where we would actually have to try and do this. But nowadays, again, even if they keep increasing the the damage and the health of the bosses most of the time it's just really some of them are soloable like the one here um yeah some new bosses with with interesting mechanics would be nice i think um i don't necessarily think that we need better rewards from them i think just we just need better content um okay repositorium improve rewards yeah this is uh this is like a two years outdated co uh, stuff that no vespa hasn't touched in forever um sometimes I, I go back to do it just to like complete the stamina mission the weekly one when I was, say, farming TM gears but didn't get 100 drops in a week, then I would maybe finish it off just to get those stamina potions. But yeah, this one is, is super dated because it mostly gives dragon gear, which is also dated. So yeah, this could use a rework. Um, the boss itself is like, you know, multi-hit boss. So again, very much reliant on a specific type of hero that you may or may not have in that pool of 100 heroes. It's not challenging or fun to do and the rewards do not make it worth, so yeah. Either delete this or, or make it relevant in some way, in my opinion. Which part of the sub-story content do you think needs improvement? Thankfully the winner isn't improved rewards this time, it's add new sub-stories. I am fully on board with that, I really like these getting to know the characters a bit more, more know their history a bit more. That's pretty good because after all this is a, a somewhat immersive RPG game and um, yeah, getting to know about those, those stories, those characters is what really makes it fun in my opinion. I really enjoy them, especially the, some of the latter ones. I really like say Priscilla and Crow. Uh, that have some pretty nice depth to them and yeah, yeah I think we definitely need more of these um, I would say that and then there is this question which content from King's Raid do you think needs the improvement Technomagic wins by far hmm I don't know I don't really know there needs to be something to be done in the game other than the the daily um missions and stuff and i don't really mind techno magic raids it's 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 a process you need to put in the time and the effort but uh, i don't think it's too bad really so i actually disagree with this one um i would put a lot of other stuff ahead of that some as we have discussed um yeah I don't think Techno Magic needs that much of a big change, really, but of course, your mileage may vary on this one. Alright, let's see. Survey about customization and costumes. So, yeah, hairstyles. Hairstyle is, is definitely the number one choice for me as well, because this is something that they started implementing, and with a lot of characters, they just gave the coming soon options and never went with it and it's been many many months where where we have been waiting that other heroes receive these kind of options too so it would be nice if best but delivered on that um as i recall based on their costume post this is actually a huge amount of work to make the models updated so probably that's why they haven't done it yet i personally would like them to get around to it because it's it's just something that we should have in the game if they introduce this feature then they should go all the way and just do it for everyone in my opinion moving on what kind of costumes do you want us to release in the future now this is curious because i thought that they 
gave the answer to this before and said it it was the heroes that are owned by the most readers. I'm glad that in the end this is not what won based on on this uh, feedback here, but the that they want uh, or that we want costumes to be balanced by the overall uh, number of uh, costumes owned by each hero. Mm, yeah, I agree to that because everyone has different tastes and just because the character is less new or less popular these days, uh, uh, days it doesn't mean that there is nobody who likes them and that they shouldn't be uh, uh, receiving updates to their characters, new stuff to their characters. So yeah, just give it uh, balance the number. Like there are characters who have who barely received any kind of love in terms the co of the costume de uh, uh, department, while others just keep getting new ones. And I can see how this frustrates people who would like to see more stuff for those heroes too. So yeah, totally on board with this. Moving on, which teams of costumes do you like the most? Swimsuit and wedding ones are really, and wedding swimsuit, all right. There seems to be a pattern there, guys. I can tell why you guys love this. You just have to look at the picture here. Um, mixed feelings on my end. If you have talked to me about costumes before, you know, I personally don't like to send my uh, my girls and boys into battle wearing swimsuits because it's just weird to me. Like I like to be a bit more immersed in in like the whole fantasy setting, and and if I go into battle, I want to wear armor. So. It would be kind of cool if we had maybe like actual armor costumes that people can wear in battle, you know? And maybe then there could be other places like the inn or we could have a beach where people, where your characters can wear swimsuits and whatever. Um, but yeah, I understand why people like these. I can, I can understand. So, <laughs> all right. Now, satisfaction of content improvement. So this is the... Uh, and some nice pie charts here. Let's see, Guild Conquest. Most people are quite satisfied. So, satisfied, mainly satisfied, highly satisfied. I think Guild Conquest received a decent uh, adjustment recently. Maybe a new boss would be actually nice because we all had these forever now. Uh, maybe on Valkazar magic teams are a bit too strong now compared to everyone else. I don't really know if anyone even runs physical these days. We used to have stuff like Hanus and and uh, Crow and Nyx and Urzi. I haven't really heard about these characters being used uh, nowadays. I think it's mostly just like uh, Esker and and uh, and um, Cleo. Of course, there is Pansy who does reasonably okay. But um, I don't think she she gets near the scores that Esker and and uh, Cleo can do these days. So maybe a bit of a balancing there, or even a new boss. So so we aren't really stuck with Valk only. That would be kind of cool, giving people more choices. That's always a good thing. Guild rate content um, still seems to be mostly satisfied. I think the recent changes were quite nice. They have updated the rewards to be more. Um, more um, more in line with where the game is now. I think this is fine. I don't think they need to change anything about guild race nowadays. Recent balance adjustments. Now this is the tricky one. A lot of people actually feel satisfied with this, mainly satisfied. And then there are those who are not very satisfied, um, highly satisfied, not at all. I think most people are, are kind of okay with the balance adjustments, the recent ones. Let's not talk about the meme November one. Um, yeah, I think they, the, at one point there is the part that uh, they only do like two heroes a week now and that's really slow, so if someone is waiting for their favorite character to be updated, um, then that's gonna take forever. Meanwhile, not everyone agrees that the, uh, the updates are really that good, like some say that it's not good enough, um, like people weren't really satisfied with Shamila. Um, on the other hand, um, some characters like um, Yuria and Scarlet became pretty powerful. This is especially in PvP changes, um, to the point where they, you might call them broken, really. I heard the new castle is very strong, I still have to make a video on, them, on him. Um, so yeah, in some sense... They did deliver, sometimes maybe they went a bit overboard, in my opinion. 
Um, but I don't think there has been from the recent ones any that were terribly underwhelming. So I think I'm, I'm mostly good with it. It would be cool if they could do it faster, but as long as the uh, the slower pace means uh, uh, an overall better, uh, higher quality in, in the balance adjustments, um, then that's fine. So if you compare the current Shamila update to say Crow's 1.8 or 1.7% DPS increase, I would take the Shamila one any 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 time really. So it's um, yeah, if you if you compare the two and doing good work and doing good work fast are two very different things. So in in so if we want to see regular updates to these heroes, then we probably just have to accept that it takes longer to do uh, more so uh, through through changes, and um, I'm mostly fine with it. Not saying it's perfect. But a lot better than what we had last year, where it felt like they just slapped some random numbers onto heroes, and they were then they were like, "Yeah, balance. There you go." So yeah, I'm mainly satisfied with this too. And that's it, guys. Um, yeah, that's it really. I think um, I think mostly. The, the community understands what's wrong with the game and hopefully Vespa will understand too. We get to see how they react to this. I don't necessarily think that everything just needs more and better rewards. Um, it still needs to be a game, you know. It's not just like a click the button and collect your stuff because then it's no longer a game. But I do understand where people might be coming from um, asking for better rewards too. So yeah, this was my take on the survey results let me know what you guys think did you vote for these options did you vote for something else if you did why did you let's discuss it in the comments you know i like to check on this also this week i really really was so busy and dead that i barely had any time to check on those but i'll try to get back to those as well so yeah all right this has been cloudy for now and i'll see you in the next one hopefully this week and if not then the next week when we do the whole chapter 10 hype. Until then, see you. Bye bye.